fam it is your girl lauren here and welcome back to another video first and foremost so sorry about the lighting in houston it has been dreary rainy and no sunlight literally continuously for the past week or so and this is the best i could do so hopefully you guys can surpass this lighting situation for now but let's get into today's topic and you may be wondering, Lauren, why are you hopping on the bandwagon with this trend? But hear me out, this is the reason. So as you can tell, the topic of today's video is building my dream IKEA greenhouse cabinet. I feel like over the past year or so, this has been really popular, especially during COVID and honestly within the past month. But let's get to the reasoning why. So. If you've been following my channel for a little bit, you know that I have been struggling with my anthuriums. Anthuriums, for some reason, just haven't loved me like the way I have loved them back. And not only that, I feel like my other high humidity loving plants haven't been doing well. They just look really sickly, flimsy, and some of them are just growing at such a low rate and I knew I needed to do something ASAP to save all my plant babies which leads me to this video so in today's video you will see the journey of me finding and purchasing my cabinet to the unboxing of all of the items that I wanted and building the darn thing next video will be the official unveiling of my cabinet if I included it in today's video, it would have been super long. I wanted to, but it just would have been like a 30 minute video. And I know you guys don't want to sit through all of that. But anyway, here we go. Please subscribe, hit the notification bell and like this video. And without further ado, let's get going. It has been a couple of days since I got the shelf from the person that was selling it on OfferUp. It is finally in the place where I want to have it and I'm ready and so stoked to show you guys. So here it is. Sorry for the lighting guys and you can tell in the reflection my jammies that I'm wearing but this is the shelf. It is an old shelf. That is still sold in Ikea, but it is the Detolf shelf, I believe. I'm trying to get a good glimpse of it all the way. There we go. Of the entire height, it is about 5 feet 4 inches. It's next to, it's in between my shoe slash workout equipment over here and my TV. As far as the shelving, I am going to use the original glass shelves that came with this cabinet. Now, I know it isn't super ideal for airflow, but I have some solutions when I show you guys the haul of items on how I am going to combat that. The reason why I am using the glass shelves is because I was having a really hard time finding grid panel shelves that I could utilize for the cabinet. And this is where they would adhere to, but it would have required me like cutting or sawing off the grid panel to make a custom shelving and your girl doesn't have the means, the tools and the technology to do that. So that's what it is, but it's just an open shelf and it's really cool. So I am getting so stoked. All right guys, so now it is time to talk about the items that I purchased in order to make this Ikea greenhouse. Your girl got quite a few stuff but i am super excited to unbox it for you guys and tell you the reasoning why i purchased all these items and just get into the haul so let's go package time okay so as you can see i have one small little box and i have a big boy right over here so let's just get going let me start with the small box Okay, y'all, the first thing I got, and I'm not saying this is completely necessary, are acrylic risers. And this was just a one pack of different assorted risers in height. Let me just show you guys what we got. Here we got a small one. We have a huge little tower 
tier going on over here. So cute, cute. And yeah, so the reason why I purchased acrylic risers, again, they're not necessary, but I wanted to get them. They're a great way to add more dimension in your greenhouse cabinet, depending on the different sizes of your plants. It can be a great way to stack up and put more room underneath for your plants and adds a great look. My goal is to fit as many plants as I can in my greenhouse cabinet and with these acrylic risers it provides a great solution to that so that was a small box let's get into the big boy now there are like maybe seven or eight products in this huge box and this is where all of the actual items are in and i'm really excited to open this and not intimidated, I guess, but I'm just thinking about putting it together and you know, there's just a lot of anticipation going on. So here we go, opening the box. All right. Whoa, it's definitely huge. Okay. All right, so the first thing that I got was a surge protected power strip with timer. Again, if you have a lot of surge protectors in your home, you don't need this. The reason why I got it is because with the greenhouse cabinet, I want to make sure that I put it on for a set amount of time. And also when you're just on vacation, you're out, it's good to have an automatic timer. And this helps. So one side has a timer section and one side is always on. Specifically with my greenhouse cabinet, it's right next to my TV and there's only one outlet to put something into. So all of the items that need to be plugged in for my greenhouse will go into the timed option and the other parts like my Wi-Fi router and my Roku for my TV are gonna go in the always on section. So this is a great tool. And that's that. All right, next up. I, of course, will unpackage it, but I got a full spectrum LED grow light right here. This is all from Amazon, by the way, if I did not say that. Since the width of the cabinet is fairly small, it's about 13 inches, it was hard finding a good light solution. Now there are some available on Amazon and of course you do not have to go on Amazon to purchase any of the items that you need for your greenhouse. I just chose that for accessibility and convenience. But I saw in the IKEA greenhouse cabinet Facebook group that a lot of people recommended this because if you have um, the Detolf, I'm saying that right, Detolf shelf or any other smaller and tall vertical cabinet, this is a great option. So let me pull this bad boy out. Okay, so this is the light, guys. So it is a square. I think it's like nine by nine inches. And on the back are hooks. What you get with this besides... Hi, it's future Lauren. Wanting to pop in here and just let you guys know very quickly that this particular grow light did not end up working for me. The main issue I had with this grow light was not the assembly as far as drilling it, but just the way the grow light was. From the main hook to the grow light was like six inches. And of course you don't wanna burn the leaves of your plants. And then you have to hang your plants several inches below that. And in the cabinet, every inch is very much needed real estate. So obviously, again, it worked for other people, but I will tell you in the outro, the grow light I ended up using. But anyway, let's get back to the unboxing. The cable is the hooks that go on here and then the massive hook, it'll all make sense when I build it, the massive hook that will hang from the cabinet. So. This will be the hardest part, I feel like, is attaching the grow light because I may have to drill it. I'm not sure, but this is what I chose for the lighting situation. The next item, which isn't anything fancy but highly necessary, 
is zip ties. You need zip ties to attach everything together. So I got a big black pack of these. So let's talk about humidity, guys. Now I am not adding a humidifier to the greenhouse cabinet. Of course, the cabinet itself will be enclosed to add a lot of humidity back for my plants, which they very much need. But of course, there are some cracks, some open areas for the door and other things like that. So I am going to weather strip my cabinet. This is some heavy duty foam ceiling tape. I will put everything that I use in the description. So go check it out if you wanna purchase any items. But this is the tape that I got. It was also very much recommended. So that is what I am going to do to secure any open areas to get that humidity and a sustainable level in my greenhouse. Moving on in this haul are wire cabinets. So this was just a one pack. This is actually a basket while this is just a flat tray. Now this is another great space saving solution. You can put your smaller plants on here and hang it from the grid wall shelves, which I will show you guys up next. And I'm really excited for this. I think it's gonna look super cool and I'm just ready to see how this looks with the plants on top of it. It's awesome. Okay, so I did say that these will go on the grid wall, so obviously, we need a grid wall, right? So I got this one from Amazon. So let me show you guys. Here is the grid wall. It's nothing special, guys. You can type in grid panel, wire grid panel wall into Amazon. And there are so many different options and colors for you, depending on what you want in your greenhouse. So I went with standard black and I went with the dimensions that fit my cabinet. So nothing special the little trays will go on top like that and we are good so we are down to the final product in this short haul all right guys now the last thing i got and i'm sure you can see are fans and these were really highly recommended fans for your greenhouse you can time in the back sorry you can't really see but these are the fans it is a two pack and you can attach them with these zip ties so let me just pull one out so i can show you they're right here together but this is the fan i'm going to stick one on the top and then the other one at the bottom and this is what I am going to do to make sure that with all the humidity, no mold or fungal problems occur. At night, when I get home from work, I'm planning to open the greenhouse for like 30 minutes or so just to get some circulation of air. But in the meantime, while I'm not at home, I will use these bad boys. Okay, that was all of the items and right now it's time to build the darn thing. So if you guys are ready, like this video, subscribe, and I'm being a little cheeky with the self promo plug and let's get going. So to the next section. Okay guys, so here is what I'm thinking about as far as the plan of attack. I think it makes the most sense to weather strip the entire cabinet. So all I'm gonna do is just use my measuring tape to figure out how long the pieces have to be, cut them and stick them on. So pretty self-explanatory. I am going to fast forward this and I'll see you at the next step. Whew, okay. That was harder than I thought, but step one is complete. So you can see it if you follow my finger right here. I finished weather stripping the door of the cabinet. It's a little dodgy, you know, just a little dodgy because the tape is like halfway on the glass, halfway off. And now it's time for step two. Step two is gonna be the wire grid panels. So your girl did make sure to measure everything because that would be terrible if I got the wrong dimension. So I am going to try and attach these on with the zip ties that I showed you in the items haul earlier. So let's do it, let go. 
wow guys i am legitimately so proud of myself i only wanted enough grid panels to fill up the top half of the shelf cabinet maybe eventually i'll do the bottom but what i did and i'm so glad this worked is first of all i zip tied these two panels together and then i just zip tied the actual panel to the cabinet itself and i added the wire trays and baskets so i am so proud of this i know we're losing daylight lighting isn't optimal so sorry guys but this is what i got and i added two of the glass shelves back in so this one so this is gonna be the top half and then we have the bottom so it's only three shelves the top section will have a larger portion but guys this is going so smoothly so far and i am so proud of myself next step next step is this step three or four one two okay step three this is step three and the next step are attaching the fans and one of the things i love about these fans and a lot of the reasons why plant lovers use them is because they have three different levels of speed which is great but the most important thing is that they're super quiet actually when i turned it on just now just to test that the product worked i thought it was broken because that's how quiet these bad boys were so they are connected together in one long wire cable if you wanted just the top one to work you could just stick this in a little what is this little wire adapter outlet thing but i'm using both of them one for the top and one from the bottom and then after this i think i am going just to put some of the clear acrylic risers in so we are getting down to the wire guys i am praying that everything still runs smoothly i think the thing that's going to give me the most trouble is adhering the grow light but I'll solve that issue when I get there. Let's install these bad boys. Okay, that was it as far as the footage that I have for building the greenhouse cabinet. As I mentioned in the future Lauren clip that I ended up going with different grow lights and these are the grow lights that I ended up going with. I ended up doing some recruitment because I needed additional reinforcements to drill the hole for my grow light bar and I got my dad, you know? I got my dad because I know he would have all the tools and he knocked that out in 10 minutes. So that's how I was able to attach the bars. You will see it in next week's video for sure when I do the unveiling. Thank you guys so much for tuning and clicking in. I love you guys so, 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 so much. It's the end of the year and it is because of you guys that has made 2020 such an unforgettable year and being a part of the plant community and growing my own community has been the most unforgettable part of this year, hands down. But I will see you guys in the next video. I love you guys so much.